praise the Lord. Glory be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice, hallelujah, and be glad. Glory be to God. We just thank God for this blessed day, Father. We thank him for giving us another day that he breathed life within us today. He got us up this morning. He touched us with the finger of his Lord. So he is enough. He's worthy to be praised. Glory be to God. He is worthy to be praised. So let's get into prayer. Get into the word of God, knowing that he's going to speak word to us today. And we'll be able to hear what the Spirit has to say to us today. Glory be to God. So let's go in prayer. This morning, before we start anything, let's go to the throne of grace. Glory be to God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we thank you this day for a brand new day, God, that you brought us into, Lord God. You command our body to wake up and get up and breathe life within us today. And we thank you, Lord God. For a brand new day today, Lord God, that we are able to step out into your word to hear what you have to say to us today. Father God, we come before you, Lord God, ready to hear what you have to say to us today. And Father God, we bind every demonic spirit that's trying to hinder it, that no hindrance will come against your word going forward. Father God, we come before the throne of grace. Lord God, upon the behalf of your gospel going forth this morning, Lord God, that your word will flow like never before. Your word will touch hard. Your word, God, will deliver and set free. Father God, we thank you that we stand continually on your word, that no weapon formed against us from the enemy shall prosper. And every tongue, God, every tongue, your word say that judging it. Lord God, you said those tongues shall be condemned. You gave us those rights, Lord God, to say those words. Because we are the righteousness of you through Jesus Christ, your son. Father God, we are speak today. Lord God, hide me, Lord God. None of me, Father God, but all of you. I'm just your vessel, ready to be used for your glory, God. Touch my lips, God, with the cold from your altar, Lord God. Check every word, every vocabulary word comes out of my mouth, Father God. You are excellent, Holy Spirit. You know what to say. Lord God, just hide me, none of me, but all of you, Father God. And Father, that your people, that we all will hear what you have to say to us, that we will take in and receive and believe and, and obey. Hallelujah, God. We thank you that you look all over this world today. You know everything. You see everything. But we just pray today for the whole entire world. Lord God, because your eyes behold the good and the evil. Father God, you know the crooked things and you know how to make it straight. You know the rough things in our life, Father God, and you know how to make them smooth. For Father, we come before you praying for each and everybody, Lord God. Father God, that you will see and your will be done in their life. Father God, whatever they need, you said in your word, you will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. Father God, keep us, Lord God, and preserve us like you say you would in your word. Going out and coming in, you'll preserve us from all evil. And we give you thanks and we give you praise right now, Father God, that we got an ear and we want to hear what you have to say to us today. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be able to come before your presence. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our petition today as we give you praise and as we give you thanks. In your son Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Today, word for us today, hallelujah, is, to, is standing against the wiles of the devil. And we know we're in a world full of crookedness in all that sin and everything. But those that in Christ Jesus, God is telling us today, to stand, standing against these things, keeping the faith. We're going to go into this word, of, to the word of God and let the Holy Spirit speak to us today. 
I always tell everyone, get your pencil, get your paper, write the scriptures down, and be able, come on, be able to go back and allow the Holy Ghost to teach you because he is the teacher. Glory be to God. Let's go to Ephesians 6. Let's go there. Let's go to Ephesians 6, and we're going to just start off with the 10th verse. And this is Paul telling the Ephesian church how to stand. And like God, the Holy Spirit is telling us this the same. He's telling us to be able to stand against whatever the wiles. And we know what the wiles of the devil mean. All these wild things are going on among this world today. God wants us as Christians, the true Christian, to stand. Stand, therefore, we got to stand because we got to realize what's coming against us, that we got Jesus Christ. We standing in the power of him and not our own strength and ability. Glory be to God. Let's go on. It say, finally, we in uh, Ephesians 6, and we're going to start at 10th verse. It say, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, not your might, but it's the power of God that working in us. Glory be to God. It's the power of God working in us. Hallelujah. And so we tell us to what? Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Not be strong on your own strength and ability because we're not be, we won't be able to fight this thing. Not on our own. So this is why Paul tells him to be strong in the Lord. And we're going to continue continue on and he says what 11 verse say put on come on put on the whole arm of God what's that arm who is that arm that arm is Jesus Christ he said what put on the whole arm of God that you may be able come on come on that you may be what able to stand against the wiles of the devil and we know it's a wild thing going on in this world and coming against the Christian, coming against the true believers that believe in Jesus Christ. And he's always coming. He come against Jesus, tempting him, but Jesus had the word. He was clothed with the righteousness of his father. He knew what the word say, like we, he given us the same avenue to to walk in and to be able to stand. Because if you don't have no word to come against the enemy, you have nothing to fight. You have nothing to help your faith. You can believe, but you don't have no word in the enemy. No words matter. Words do things. Words make things happen. And Satan know that. He was there. When, when God created the heaven and the earth, he was there. Yes, because he created him. He created him. And Jesus, at the tempt, when he was tempting him, hey, he had to speak the word again. So this is what Paul is telling us in the, in the message today, in the Holy Ghost as well, telling us to be strong in the Lord and the power of might, and also telling us, that we what to put on that arm. Let's let's go to Romans 13. We got to what? Put on that what? Whole arm. If you because it's letting you know what you're wrestling against. Come on. You say put on the whole armor that you'll be able to sing. Because if you ain't you don't have you does not have Jesus Christ on every day. Trust me and believe in that. Christ is my way because I'm in Christ. We're going to read that. Let's go on here to Romans 13, uh, 13 tells us and 12 says, The night is far spent and the days is at hand. So let us therefore cash off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Come on. And let us walk honestly as in the day, not in routeness, not in drunkenness, not in clamminess, not in what oneness, not in strife, not in what envy, none of these things. See, when we're walking in that, we're not having the whole arm on. If we are in strife, come on, jealousy, all of that, some of these mean jealous. 
Come on. Fighting against one another. Strife. Come on. And he said, but put on who? The Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only. Every day, Jesus. Whatever you do, Jesus. I don't care what's coming against you. Sometimes you can say, Jesus. The devil got to flee. Demons got to flee. Because they what? Cannot come against the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It say make no provision for this flesh. To be what? To fulfill the love thereof. So when the enemy coming against you, and this is what God is telling us today, to standing, standing against the wiles of the devil, no matter what's coming against us. Put on the whole arm of Jesus Christ, knowing that you can't fight the battle, but by faith, is what pleases God. My faith stands that I am an overcomer through Jesus Christ, knowing that I, I'm an overcomer. I don't have to worry. He fights my battle. It's already been won. Victory is already mine through Jesus Christ. But this is what the message is telling us today. Keep your arm on. Keep your arm on daily. Keep your arm on every day. God got a word for everything you do. Let's continue on and go back to Ephesians. And it tells us this. For we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, and blood but against what? Principality. Hallelujah. And against the power and against the rulers. Come on. Rulers of what? Darkness of this world. Come on. This is what coming in. You're not fighting against your sisters and brothers. Because of what they do, but they are being influenced. They're, the devil got to have someone to be, to influence to do his dirty work. Glory be to God. So this is what it's telling us. We, what we are wrestling against, not the flesh, not that person. But we are wrestling against the demonic spirit that this person is being what? Influenced by. He can get in anything. Come on. Don't you think when the storm came and, and the, the disciple was was crying out for Jesus to help him and save him, and all Jesus did what? Spoke to it. Now, that wasn't God during that storm, so the devil had to get in it. Come on. To rock down faith. That's why Jesus said, oh, ye of little faith. To get us out of believing in, in faith. In, in the Lord, knowing that we are overcome. The knowing that, come on, the enemy get in things. Come on. Yes, he does. He got to find something to to what? If he know that that keeps you uncomfortable, that's confusing you, that keeping you frustrated, he going to use that as an avenue, come on, to come against you. Let's go on. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against what? Principality, against powers, against rulers of darkness in this world. Against spiritual wickedness. Come on. Spiritual wickedness in high places. He don't care whatever. See, high places can be anything that you oh you close to. Or, or you even your church or whatever. He can do those things. But you got to know, come on, who you are in Christ. That I'm, I'm anchored in the Lord. And when you know that you're anchored in him. Because you have the armor on each and every day. Glory be to God. Let's go to the, the uh, St. John 17. But this is what I'm saying. Jesus said what? You're wrestling against all of these things. But he wants us to what? Put on that armor. Each and what? Every, every day. Come on. Let's go to St. John 17. Let's go there. And St. John 17. Let's, let's go. This is Jesus talking to his disciples. As he's talking to us that were followers of Christ. We are his disciples. Jesus, we are following Christ. We are following him. So we are disciples. So he's speaking this as well to us. Let's go to the 14th verse. And this is Jesus saying, you can always go back and read the whole chapter to, to just get, I like to sometimes read the whole chapter 
but it's the time to give in the word. Let the Holy Spirit give out what he wants to give out right now. But you can always go back. Let's go to the 14th verse. And it says this. I have given them my word. Come on. We got the word. I have given them my word. And the world has hated them. Because they are not of this world. Come on. Even as I am not of this world. This is what God said. They're going to hate you. They're going to dislike you. You're not going to have much friends like you used to when you truly in Christ. You 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 bind with him. It say they are not of this world. Even as I'm not of this world. We are peculiar people. We read that. In First Peter, we read that. That we are what? Peculiar people. We're not like the we don't live like the world. Come on. What did he say? He said and they are not of this world. We are not of this world. He said, I pray not that thy, what, should take them out of the world. He praying to his father about what? His disciples as we as well. He's an interceding for us right now. Christ is sitting on the right hand side of the father interceding right now. He said what? He said, but I pray not that thy take, should take them out of the world. But that thy should keep them from evil. And he said he will preserve us from all evil. He will preserve our going out and our coming in. He says to us that none of this evil will come near you in 91 Psalm if you would keep dwelling under the secret place. Come on. You dwell up under his authority of his his will. If you stay in his will, you will be you're safe. You're protected. None of this evil. He said will come near you. Come on. It won't come. But when you when you allow the evil, the wickedness, like like Ephesians telling us, if you allow this wild stuff to get next to you, come on. You gotta recognize who what the devil does because you know God is good. God is peace. God is love. He's joy. Hallelujah. And let's go on. And it says what? He, Jesus is praying like he's doing for us right now. Intercede. He said, but thou should keep them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He was on this earth. We're on this earth. We're in here. But what? We don't live by this world system. Come on, we don't walk in the flesh. We we are spiritual, born again, children of God. We are we are putting on the image of Christ. We are looking more like His children, like Jesus Christ is His Son, and we are more and more being like Christ. Come on, we are growing more and more as we stay abiding in Him. Let's go on. And He said, "What." They are not of this world, even as I'm not of this world. Sanctify them through thy truth. There you go. Through the word. And if you're not in the word, you'll not be able to come against this. You can't say sanctify, purify, because the word, he said in St. John 15, 3, he, it cleanses you. He said you are cleansed through the word, through my word. The word cannot Keep you with the armor on each and every day with your faith because that's God's word. That's what he say. Keep them. Come on, in the truth. Sanctify them through thy word. That's what it means. The truth is his word. Sanctify them through thy, through thy truth. Thy word, come on, is true. So the word is the truth. And if you want the whole armor of Christ, you can't just say, because the devil knows whether you have faith or not. Because you don't you don't say what God said. Jesus just said, We're not of this world. We gotta say what he said. What did he say it against Satan? The word. Come on, he spoke the word. And he said, What? Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is thy truth, is the truth. And as thou hast sent me into this world, come on, even so 
have I also sent them into the world. If we follow the Christ, we must walk as Christ like. We must be an imitator of Jesus Christ. Our daily life. Because the wiles of the devil, if he came against Jesus while he was on this earth, he's going to come against us. He's coming against us with things that we is not conscious of because we don't stir it. We don't get in God's word to know what he said. Come on. We don't really trust him. Because if you don't know him, how can you trust someone you don't know about? You heard of him. I can know of him, but I don't believe. Because I what? He says, God sanctify. He's praying. God sanctify them through your word. And he said, and now, if you say abiding in me, your word will cleanse you. Come on, you are cleansed through the word of God. Those things that in us, because we are in this flesh, and we are feeding the flesh more. Come on. And the devil knows that's the wise of the devil, because it's the flesh. If the flesh doing more, doing more than the spirit of God leading you, then you're, 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 fed, you're being fed off the flesh. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's go on. And he said what? Thou what? Sanctified through thy work, through thy truth. Thy word is true. And as thou hast what? Sent me into the world. Even so I have sent them into the world. Come on. And for thy sake I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Come on. Through the word. Through the word. Never, neither pray I for those alone, but for them also, come on, which should believe on me through the word, through their word. Come on. If you don't have the word of God on the inside, how could you stand connected to the, to the Father, to the Son? Because he already spoke to us. You are cleansed by that word. You are cleansed by his word. So he's telling us today, no matter what you're going, keep standing against the wild. Because this is what you're standing against. Whatever the enemy is coming against you, stand against the wild. Standing against the wild of the devil. That's me. Whatever the enemy coming and throwing at you. Let's go back to Ephesians. Let's continue on. And we know that we're fighting, we're wrestling against what? We're wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers. Come on, powers against the rulers of God, the powers of the wicked. You know, spiritual wickedness in this real. Just like the Holy Ghost here to give each and guide, there's a demon spirit, a wicked spirit will guide you, influence you away from God. Hallelujah. Let's go on. Standing, therefore, having your line girded about with truth. Keep the word of God. Keep the truth. Keep the God. Come on. With truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. As you walk in the word of God, you speak in the word of God, close yourself. You closing yourself, Christ, because I believe that's his word. And Christ and already say, sanctify them, Father. He's praying every day. He's there on the right hand side of the Father, interceding for us. That we what? Get it right. Keep the faith. Help them, Lord. Keep, help them. He there. Sending the Holy Ghost to lead us and guide us. If we what? Have faith. If we trust in the Lord with all our heart and not lean to our understanding how to live on this earth. But what? Being, being trusting in what he already has spoken to us. Let's go on. He's already telling you, having your lines girded. That means keep your grip on what the word of God says. When the enemy come against you and say you're not, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. The devil come and say, you can't do that. You got a word. You got to tell Satan. You got to get bold and say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. You can tell him, devil, you're alive. Because the word of God says, and I'm going to stand on this word, no well. I don't care. It might fall, but it won't prosper. That means it won't work because I, hey, I am anchored 
Come on. You have to know I'm anchored in the Lord. Hallelujah. You step there and not, a, not move from the back. Praise the Lord. Let's continue on. And he said what? To have your breastplate of righteousness because you're in this word and you closing yourself every day about speaking God's word over your everyday life. Baby, you got the righteousness because you couldn't do nothing but obey. You're walking because the Holy Ghost is there as you continue to, to walk in and believe in what God's word say. And you, you're clothed with that arm. Hallelujah. He said, and your feet sharpen with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Keep speaking the word. Keep preaching this gospel. No matter what no one say you don't have, this is what everybody want to come against. Don't look at what the world got. You don't know how those people got. And if they got it, be happy for them. Because God still, he reigning on the just as well as on just. Come on. We're not all he's going to bless. He's blessing us all. Because if you got up this morning, that's a blessing. Because you didn't have to get up. It's not about a bunch of material things. Come on. Money. We got to be careful. Because that money will begin to rule your mind and your thoughts and your heart. It'll get in your heart. Because you will begin to do this thing for money. The gospel of Fred and the gospel of Jesus Christ is not about money. It's free. Because Jesus said, who the son ever said free is free indeed. Jesus didn't go to the cross for no money. He freely went. For my sake and yours. And why? This gospel don't have no price on it. And that price is it's already been paid in full. And that's the blood. The atonement of the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything in my life and your life, no matter how the devil make it look like, seem like, or come against you with, you got to stand and know who you are in Christ Jesus. It's not the care of this world. I don't care what you got. If God got a roof over your head, be thankful. Well, no matter what the enemy come to you, you got to tell him. You got to realize what just what Paul was telling the Ephesians church. You got to realize I got to keep my arm on daily. You might cry. You might be hurt of what the enemy come against you, but don't, don't, be, don't fall. Stand. Keep, keep believing in God. Don't give up. Keep trusting in the Lord with all your heart. And not leaning to my understanding, me not listening to what the devil, who he influenced, to say things to you, to come against you. There, he's a manipulator. Who the devil trying to manipulate you to get to do it his way and get out of the will of God. Stay standing. That's what the word said today. God coming to us, standing. Keep standing. Come on, be able to what stand against the wiles of the devil. Standing against that. Standing against whatever he coming against you, whatever you're facing in your everyday life. I don't know what you're going through, but only the Holy Ghost knows. But you got a word to stand on and a God to trust in because of Jesus Christ. And remember, sitting there praying for you. Intercede for us all that believe. Come on, he said, I pray for them. They believe what my words say. Glory be to God. Let's go on. And it says this. That we know we got to keep the gospel. The peace. The gospel is peace. It brings peace. When we hear the gospel, we 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 find peace. Whenever we get in this word, I find joy. We find peace. It's saying above all. Come on. Above all. After you're doing all this standing in all of it. Keep the faith. Taking what? The shield. That's that's your that's gonna shield. The shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able, come on, to quench all fair and dark that coming against you. Come on. Fair and dark of the wicked. Whoever the enemy is using, come on. He said he'll be able to what? Stand against all fair and dark. Come on. That coming against you. Get a faith. Come on. 
Hebrews 11 and 6 says, faith, without faith. Come on. We can't please God. Without faith. Come on. It tells you. That's why you say above all. Come on. Above all. Taking your shield of faith. Then you can block. Because it says this in, in Hebrews 11 and 6 tells us, but without faith, it is impossible. Hallelujah. It is what? Impossible to please God. Say them know that. If you can say the word and don't have faith in what you're saying, he know that would not please God. But he said what? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who? To please God. To please him. For he that comes to God, when you come in prayer, you must believe that he is God. And he have what? Heard me when I pray. Because I know when I pray in the name of Jesus, he, he's sitting on the right hand side every day, daily, interceding for us. Come on. He said what? That we must believe that he is, means God, that he is a rewarder of them that diligently, come on, seek him, that continually trust in him, that continually trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. You got to keep that faith. And that faith gonna gonna block when you get my faith. You got to say when the devil say, "Oh, you can't do that." You gonna say, "I can do all things through Christ Jesus." That strengthens me. I can do it through His strength. Come on, you got that faith to believe that because you are gonna come up with that when Satan come up with a word. You got a word. Come on, when the enemy come against you, you say, "The Lord is my light." Come on, in my salvation, who should I fear? And who should I be afraid? Because he said he'll cause them to stumble. So you know what the words say, and you stand on it and believe it. This is what God is telling us today. Stand. I don't care what it is. You might have a lot of money, but there's something somebody rich got going on. I don't care how many cars you got, how much houses is looking good. It's something going on in your life if you in Christ. Now, if you got it good and ain't nothing bothering you, you might need to check your salvation. You might need to know who you really follow. Because if you're cheating and get it, it's soon going to fail. Because God's word stands forever. It never fails. God's word is true because he is true. And this is what Jesus is telling us to stand. Put on that. Come on. Let your faith be your shield. That you'll be able to what? Come on. Block every fire and die that's coming against you from the wicked. And who is the wicked one? Is Satan. That's why he's telling us today. Come on. Standing, standing, come on, against the wild of the devil. You got to be able to stand and done all you can do, Paul said. Keep standing. And all, come on, he said, stand. And with all you have done, come on, after you, you keep in the arm of God, he tells us over here. He said, stand. That's at 13. He said, wherefore, take it unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil days and having what? Having done all to stand. That means keep standing. Keep standing. Standing, therefore, with your lounge girded about with you. Come on, having on the breastplate of righteousness. David. Done all you can do. Paul telling them, do all you can do, keep on standing. Because there's some wicked things coming against you. Every day, wicked is going on. And Satan don't care who he shoots. Just that's like a bullet. The bullet don't, don't, don't know. He don't have no different name. It's anybody's name if you're in the way. 
You don't have no certain person it'll shoot. If it shoot, it's gonna hit. And that's how those fiery docks come. He don't care, he just shooting them every day. If he shoot them, and if you don't have the shield of faith on, you will not be able, come on, to block the fiery docks of the wicked. That's what he's telling them. And let's go on. He says, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Glory be to God. Which is the what? The word of God. When you what? Done all that. Your helmet of heaven. You know who you are in Christ. And you are saved. Come on. You got the sword in your hand. Come on. Of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Come on. There you go. You got your sword. Because that sword is that word. You got the word of God to be your wealth. Because your faith is intact with God. Because your faith first got to be together. And if your faith is lining up, like he said, pleasing to God. And that faith in knowing that Jesus Christ is the overcomer of this world. He already overcome everything. And as long as I'm in Christ, I am an overcomer. That's why he said, keep Jesus Christ on daily. Keep him on daily. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's what he said. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. What it is? The word of God. Come on. Let's go to the next one. Praying always with all prayer and certification in the spirit. Watching, therefore, come on, with all preserving and certification for all things, everywhere, praying, 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 all the time, praying. This is what he said, praying, praying always, not just when something happens, come on. He said, praying always. Come on, making your request now before the Lord. I can go before him, the throne, when the time of need of help. I can go to him. I can go to him because I know, just like we just got to read, I know he here heard me because my faith allowed me to know that when I pray, God heard me. He heard everything that I have said because I came to him in faith. I come to him in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, if you pray in my name, my father's going to do it. But you ask him in my name. See, if you say in the name of Jesus, hey, it's still. See, and God heard that. When you call the name of Jesus, demons can't touch you. Because you got to believe they can't touch you. They might come against you trying to form something, but it won't work. It'll backfire on you. See, it'll backfire. But he said, praying always with all prayer and certification in the spirit. Come on, praying in the spirit, not praying in your natural. Come on. But sometimes we're just praying anything, but not with faith. Come on. With certification, watching, therefore, with all preserving and certification for all things. Watching. Let's go to um, Philippians. Let's go to Philippians 1 and 4. Talking about prayer. And it said, Philippians 1 and 4 says this. It said, always in every prayer of mine for you, all all you all making requests with joy. When you go, no matter what you go, you know God. When you get up off your knees, you feel good because you know God heard you. But what did it say? That he said, always in every prayer, in every prayer, when you get down on your knees of mind, let your mind be on what you're praying. Come on. And and for you all making requests with joy. He said, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, 
be in company when you get down there have the company that god inherits you come on be in what company in this very thing whatever you ask god have the confidence that very thing that i go before god i done made my request before me. always praying everything every day of your life lord i thank you for for a blessed day because your word say this is the day that you have made and i should be what rejoicing and be glad no matter what's coming against you you're going to rejoice like uh james say count it all joy when trials and what driven tri trials and tribulation come count it all joy god sometimes have me to laugh at the devil because i know it's the devil i didn't laugh like he gave me a uh, uh, just make me just tickle about what I see the enemy trying to do. And I can tell them right then and there, say to them, you're a lie and the truth ain't in you. My God, come on. Say it, say it. And I'm standing on what God said because I believe his word will not go back for it. It will accomplish. Wait on me. Sometimes that trust me. Trusting God means wait on him. He's going to fix it. Sometimes it seems like the, the devil is having his way. Come on. He think he got you down, but he a lie. He don't have you down. He only have you down if you think he got you down. But you continue to stand on his word. The Holy Ghost will bring that word. Because if you abide in that word, like he said, you got your sword on every day. Praying with certification every day, saying what God say, then you got the confidence that He heard your prayer and He's working this thing out. Let's go on. It said, being confident in this very thing that He which have begun a good work in you will perform it. Come on. Until the day of Jesus Christ, He'll continue what? He'll perform it in you come on so we know we got to stay praying he said praying always with prayer and certification keep praying keep believing come on keep trusting in the lord with all your heart don't lean to your understanding of how to work these things because we can't do it but if you stand on what god word say against anything everything you need is in that word i don't care if it's from the money he says supply all my needs so don't worry about the money just knowing your need will be supplied because i believe every day that the favor of god is on me come on because i trust in him totally and as we continue to trust in the lord come on the enemy gonna try to come against you to try to stop but he's saying be able to stand Keep standing against the wiles of the devil. Standing against them. So the wiles of the devil means some things going to come at you that you might just say, what's going on? But you know these are the wiles of the devil. He allowed us to know these things, spiritual darkness is out there. Come on. Paul was trying to let the Ephesians know that these things is real. This is not no joke. And you cannot fight against a, some a person but not recognize that the enemy, that person is influenced by the devil. Come on. We got to stand. Therefore, it's stand and knowing that God is with you because you got the word. He said, and I always praying with certification. Always making your request coming before God, so God with faith in Jesus Christ. You can pray, He said, Jesus said, You can pray in my name. And God, God will what? Hear you. He's gonna hear that prayer. He's gonna answer it because you done spoken in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And see, when you say it and in Jesus' name, he said, you can ask anything. In my name, my father's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it because you didn't ask in his name. Come on. 
Let's go to St. John. Let's go to St. John. Let's go to the 16th verse. I just want to read this. The 23rd verse says, is in this day, in, the, in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Very, very, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name. Come on. That's St. John 16 and 23. In my name, he will give it to you. He will give it to you. Come on. He said he'll give it to you. But if you ask, have you asked? In my name, that's what he's saying. Have you asked? Have here's there, here there too. Have ye asked nothing in my name? Come on, this is the 24. Are we asking in the name of Jesus? Because everything comes through Jesus Christ. Come on, that's your armor. You gotta put your faith. For this I send my son, then whosoever believeth on him shall not pass. But have you asked in his name? Come on. So he said, What? And he said, Whatsoever you shall ask in my father's name, he give it to you. Hitherto. Have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be, may be full. So you, if you don't ask, this is what Jesus said. You don't ask. In my name, the Father can't do it. He, he tells us in John, St. John 14, yeah, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but through me. So Jesus Christ is your armor. He is that armor that you must put on daily. And that means believing that God sent my son. You already got that faith that you know Jesus died for your sin. So let's not go back to not believing that the victory already been won. Because all power, he said, was given unto me. So Jesus is your way. Close yourself with that daily. And he already tell you the word. Speaking God's word over your life. Speaking God's word when you are praying. The word of God. Believing that Jesus said. Come on. This is what the word says. Jesus teaches. Telling us go and listen and learn of him. These are my yokes. These are my burners. is light. That means you trusting in me. You don't have to be so burdened down. Because I got you back. I covered you. I already covered you when I went to the cross. You are covered. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is good news to us all. And that's standing. God is telling us today, keep standing against it. Don't give up. No matter what coming against you, recognize the devil divide. He will show you. Just keep standing in where you are in Christ Jesus. Because he is your own. Keep believing what God word. There's a word for everything you're going through. If you worry, there's a word. You can ask God. You can God is sometimes tell you to Google it. If you don't know, Google it. A lot of things I don't know. I just quote something. I don't even know what it is, but I Google. One is this for in the word. Give me a word of scripture for this. It's there. And you ask the Holy Ghost, he, you just open your Bible and ask him to give me a word today on this that I'm going through. I don't know how to speak the word against this, against Satan coming against me. He already told us what to do. In Ephesians 10, Ephesians 6 and 10, go on, put your arm on, telling you what you're fighting against. Telling you already about the spirit is the word of God is your sword. Come on. You got to put that shield on. That shield is that is, is your faith. That is going to be your, come on, block the enemy with his firing dot for whatever he's trying to come against you with. Glory be to God. So we just thank God for this word today. And I just pray that we get this, take it in. Apply, apply it, come on, and be doers of it. 
not just hearers, but doers. Let's follow Christ. When we're doers of his word and hear what they say, always go back. Keep going. Get stirred in this over again. And let the Holy Ghost deal with inside of you today. So we always want to give someone that haven't accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior. Today is today to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Come on, that you can keep the armor on. And that armor is Jesus Christ. All you got to do is believe in him, that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into this world. Come on, upon this world, upon this earth, come on, to die for the whole entire world because God loved the whole world because he created the heaven and this earth. So that whosoever what believe that Jesus died and I raised him from the dead for your account and everybody account, my account, all that who that ever believe, then you won't perish. You will walk in victory because the victory already been won through Jesus Christ. So the one that I'm won the victory over Satan and took the keys from him, hey, I'd rather put my trust in him and ask him he daily, teach me, guide me, show me your word, give me a word, being thirsty for that word. That's all you got to do is say, Lord, here I am. Come on. Be merciful on my soul. And he will reach down and change your life if you believe that. That you want to be saved today. It's the day, it's the day. And say, Lord, I surrender and forgive me for all my sins. And he'll wash, come on, your life. He'll wash everything. It'll be, it'll be clean. You will have a, a, a free from all guilty. Come on. Clean slate. Come on. From all guilty. You just you never remember. God don't remember it no more. Just, now the enemy going to keep bringing it back up. But you got to know that I, I, I've been washed in the blood. I didn't accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Today is the day that I am saved. Believe in me. That's what he said. You won't perish. So we thank God. For this word today, I love you and God loves you more. He loves you more because he said that he loved the whole entire world. Come on. That whosoever what believes on him will not what? Perish. Glory be to God. And I love you and I know God loves you more. This is Minister Joanne Harris. This is Minister Joanne Harris and this is word. Come on, word faith ministry. This is what it is. It's all about teaching the word of God. It's about having faith when we speak in the word. Glory be to God. We thank you and we just thank God for you all. You just give God the praise for this message. Yes, glory be to God.